Okay, it's April the 24th of 2020, and uh, here's the dome build progress today. As you can see here, I've got my first six-way joint for my first hexagram, hexagon. And uh, yeah, very, very happy with it so far. Seems like it's a little canted there, but uh, we won't worry too much about that. It's probably just not right on the ground. Anyhow, I am quite pleased with that. The tightness of the joints everywhere seems to be exactly what the doctor ordered. And if we look over here and up here, small gap right there. Not going to worry too much about that. And down here and down here. And if we go back over onto the outside, I'm kind of working right near all my scrap piles. So I'm a bit trippy right there, but it's away from me when I'm working, working. Um, yeah, so the joint's looking really good on the outside. Down there as well. Look at that hub. Isn't that beautiful? Just like in Buddy's videos. Now I do have a bit of chips with the edges of the saw here, but that's whatever. Probably just the blade. It's a cheap saw. Probably has a cheap blade with it. Um, so that and that one. So this is really the main part of the dome. There's going to be about, I think, 11 or 12 of these pieces, hexes, and uh, we've got uh, six pence sections over there, and uh, yeah, so just for fun today, I was taking the jig for the uh, pence, and I was making sure it still fits, of course, and I think I did have to persuade it a slight amount. Is that the right way up? Yeah. Anyhow, it was in there. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, so that's how it's going to look, if you can imagine, later on with the uh, skin on it, except I'm not going to use half-inch ply for it. I'll probably use quarter-inch. So, as you can see, the way uh, the bevel joint system works, these aren't straight cuts, so I'm not worried too much right now. The way the bevel joint system works, all of these surfaces are square and flush to each other, this piece is flush on with this one, is flush on with this one. So they all lay flat, hypothetically. Now there is a little bit of a, a angle right there, but as we straighten them out and get them mounted right, they'll go right. Anyhow, according to building code, you want your decking to go flush on to the framing, which I can now do. I'm going to glue it along the seams here. I've got uh, some weatherproof silicon caulking that I'm going to be running a bead down there and uh, might get some speed tape to put over it might not we'll see how saucy I want to get with it after that um, it might be interesting right at the very cone, cone core but I can probably just put a big bead of uh, silicon there as well that should give it uh, the flexibility it needs when it's working and shifting in the weather heat cold so forth enough to uh, to do it uh, in terms of final coating I'm not sure if I'm going to paint it I'm also looking into maybe marine shrink wrap so we'll see what colors that's available in I think it's just white but uh, it should look all right so that is our progress now so now there's no more real brain work to this whole thing it's just going to be a lot of repetition making another 11 or so of these big hex shapes and then we'll start uh, working on putting them together. I've built one or two up here. Maybe as I go forward, the main reason I built one solidly here is I just wanted to get a look at the joint, make sure it stays tight, and make sure that everything here looks the way it's supposed to. Now that I know they do form up nicely, I'll probably just build half sections so that when I'm laying out the, uh, the first course, as it were, uh, on the slab, I'll uh, be able to easily work with them as I go along. So that might be one consideration. I should have maybe done that with the pence as well. I'm not sure, but they're not as heavy. This is actually not heavy either. I was just carrying it around a while ago, and I can easily, with one arm, lift it up onto my shoulder. So anyway, that's the April 24th process and progress. And I've still got 
a fair bit of lumber left. I look like I have um, at least three layers each going by five. So I've got about 15 or so boards easily left, maybe 16. And uh, then I have uh, my B shapes there. I need 11. I've got uh, three, five. That'll give me 10 more B bases. And then I have hypothetically about 80 or I had 80 C struts cut out. I may need a few more of those because I had some problems with the jig a couple of times. I had to cut into those for testing purposes. Uh, when you build your triangular sections up as I have there, they should fit on the jig uh, as you're building them and you should be able to lift it up, flip it over and drop it back on to that section and everything should fit fairly snugly which it now does, but it took me two tries to get it. Uh, that might be just me being a little cross-eyed or inattentive, whatever you've got. So I'm gonna put everything away and I'm gonna start tearing down for the night and putting it all uh, under the tarp, get it all under cover. Looks like we've got some weather coming in tomorrow, uh, so there might not be progress for another few days. And uh, we'll go with that. So signing off right now, just me, Ted, 1969.